Welcome back to Silent Hill 4, The Room. In the last episode, we came back to the water prison world for the second time. So I think we need to find Andrew DeSalvo, the person who was a victim here of Walter Sullivan. Probably got to find them, deal with their ghosts, just like we've dealt with all the other ghosts, and find a way out of here so we can continue on further down. Uh, so I've already explored, well, we, we started from the roof where the sluice gates are. Went down to the third floor, I checked out all the rooms there. Went down to the second floor, checked out all the rooms there. Running from Walter Sullivan the whole way and a bunch of bugs <laughs> going down the stairs because I can't use the ladders because Eileen is with me and they have a broken arm. But uh, just came from up here. Now that we're here, we can explore the first floor. And then after that, continue on down. So let's do it. First floor. Oh, and by the way, I'm actually... Like, I've had a lot of healing items up till this point, but I actually don't have that many anymore. I think I have, like, maybe one or two nutrition drinks back at home. And then an ampule and maybe one more med kit. But that's it. It's actually not that much. I'm actually burning through my health stuff pretty fast. But on the other hand, I have quite a bit of pistol ammo. Not a lot of revolver, but for just basic pistol, I've got quite a bit. So I think I'm actually going to try to use this thing more. Not necessarily for everything, but I definitely want to avoid more damage than I have been avoiding up till now. Oh, we got a bunch of flies above us. Yeah, whip it on the ground, Eileen. Whip it good. Did that kill it? Yeah, it did. I'm not too worried about... Yeah, I'm worried about this. I should just keep the pistol in my hand. It takes too long to switch. I gotta remember that in this game you can't pause time when you go to switch items. Kept focusing on the body down here or something. I wasn't aiming at the bugs. Think we're good? Yeah, okay. All these doors open. Uh, three of them are locked, but most of them are open. Another candle! Yes! Dear God, I need that in my apartment. Remember last time I was there, there I when I first came into it, there were six curses? Uh, six hauntings? And I used a candle to get rid of two of them, so we're down to four. There's probably a couple more that have popped up since I left. Oh, right, this is going to be... Yeah, we've read all these notes before last time we were here. Is this new? Looks like a kid's writing. I'm being watched from the middle room. No, that's not new. I thought it might be that special writing that only Eileen can read. Ooh, more pistol ammo. Hello? 
health drink. Yes. Definitely worth exploring these places. You generally get back about what you put into it, if not a little bit more, in terms of ammo and health, plus some extra. Like, I got 10 rounds, which I think is what I used here to kill those things. I got a nutrition drink, which should heal me more than I got hurt. I just slightly got hurt. Plus, we get a candle. Time to go further down. Something I'm really nervous about is the fact that I don't have another Sword of Obedience. Remember, I used the first Sword of Obedience on Cynthia in the Subway world. I used it there because I originally started taking it with me before I left, but then Cynthia kept chasing me, plus I found another Sword of Obedience in the same level, so I thought it was a game saying like, hey, you might want to leave it pinned down, here's another one. But I haven't found another Sword of Obedience, so... That's gonna be a problem. Wait, uh. shit. Wait, I can't go that way? Oh, I, I have to go down the holes, don't I? Shit. Well, that means I have to leave Eileen. I wish I could tell them to stay here. Like, I don't want them to follow me out to where it's dangerous. It's safe here, but they're gonna have to follow me out there. And I'm gonna go up the ladders. We're gonna be chased by Walter Sullivan up there. I need to get to the third floor to go in the holes. Okay. Uh, let's go. Was it about? Good luck, Eileen. Hey, Walter. Uh. Okay, fuck these goddamn bugs. Yeah, Walter can't get me here. Walter doesn't know how to use ladders. Jesus, the second iteration of these bugs is they're way more dangerous than they were before. Hey, Walter. Come back later. Closed for business. Oh wait, this is too high up actually. That's the sluice gate spot. I need the third floor. Which hole am I going down? Uh, I don't know if it matters. Well, okay, it does matter. I just don't know how it matters because I don't know how things have changed. So we got the shower room, the dining hall, and the kitchen. I think the shower room is nothing special, or at least it wasn't anything special before. But the dining hall kind of is, or was anyway. So I prefer the dining hall. So, I'll, yeah, I'll take this one right here, just on my right. That should take me to the dining hall. Hmm. I was taking a drink, <laughs> like, then I vaguely thought, hmm, there could be an enemy down here, and then there was. Is this an unlocked door? Yeah, actually, this is an unlocked door. I could have come in here from the... oh. I could have come in here from the second floor. There's no hole here, I just realized. Well, I probably should have looked at that, huh? In that case, which hole goes all the way down? We got two holes up here. So it's got to be this one. Yep, this hole right here, which is going to take me to the kitchen. Okay, let me get back up there. Okay, down this hole. I 
really do appreciate Henry's confidence jumping down. No problem. Actually, you know what? Let's try something. The range on this isn't very good, so this probably won't work that well. But remember the 360 AoE? You charge it up. Oh, look at that. It slows down with each hit. I thought that was a key on the table. This is the kitchen. Maybe it's... Oh, it's a spoon. <laughs> it's a spoon. Wait, Henry, are you sure that's not a train handle? To need that yet. Hey, what's that? Oh, is that a medallion? Saint medallion! Oh, I haven't had one in forever. Thank god. Uh, I'm actually full on inventory items, too. I should probably try the door to the death place. I just want to make sure that, like, this is unlocked. Oh, you can just go into the shower room. Oh, wait, I'm not gonna be able to take that. What am I doing? I don't have room. Let's try the death door. Oh, right, these things grow back when you leave. Oh, you can just go in here? Oh, I don't like that. Okay. Can't hold anymore. Why would I want that shirt? Right over there is where Andrew's body was, I think. Just floating in the water. Okay, well... Uh, eh. Where's the nearest hole? Not super close, to be honest. I'm just gonna drink this nutrition drink. Oh, it didn't even fill me up to full, so it wasn't even a waste. It's a shirt with something written on it in wax. Take the shirt. Something's written on that in wax. Maybe if you soak it in some kind of colored liquid. Huh. Okay, so I guess the clear wax is going to, like, protect part of it from the colored liquid so that I can see the writing? I guess that might work. Hmm. I don't know of any colored liquid at the moment. So there's probably something in some other place here. Let's see what's up the ladder in the center places, the observation chambers. It seems like nothing's different. I'm probably going to have to twist these different floors, I'm guessing, for some reason, to go somewhere. I don't know where. Because I definitely don't need it to go to the death chamber. Oh, hey, what? What's that? Is that a police baton? Oh, fuck right, I can't hold anymore. 
Okay, well, I'll come back for it. I don't want to just, like, shoot five pistol shots or something to use it up. Those things are everywhere. <sighs> okay. I should go down to the basement, see what's going on there. Well, there's a hole in the basement, too. Yeah. Just a first, though. I don't remember where this goes. The first floor. Oh, hey, wait, wait, wait. That's actually what I needed to open this door. Yeah, Eileen. And there's a hole. Uh, there's one slight problem, though. I think Eileen sort of accidentally followed me out here. Uh. Eileen? It sounds like they just died or something. What the fuck? No, they're over there. They're over there. Okay. Yeah, come on, Eileen. Let's go. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. What was that sound? I've never heard that before. I hope that wasn't increasing possession. I mean, I had to leave them to do this. I had to go down one of those holes to progress, so it's not like I could have stayed with them the whole time. But anyway, we'll check when we can see them better. Ooh. Oh, yeah. She is partially possessed. Look. That's not like blood. That's like... It's like moving on her skin, sort of. <sighs> Shit. I think it's okay. I think you just don't want her to become fully possessed. <laughs> Shit, I wish that didn't happen. Okay. Let's go back home. Let's see where I should use my candle. There's bad things in my closet, but again, the closet isn't too important. Oh shit, there's that over there too. But let's see what's going on with the main room. What do we got? No new ones? No new ones. Yeah, so we still have the thing in the wall. And we have the front door. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think whether I'd take out both in my room. But I think I'd prefer to do the front door, actually. I want to look through there and see what's actually through it. And not find a weird, possessed version of myself. Is there anything out there? Nope. Okay, I went back up the ladders and grabbed this. Nightstick, Eileen only weapon. Lead weighted, leather nightstick. Does not require much force to cause damage. Looks extremely painful. Hmm. It sounds like it's better than the chain? It seems like the range would be a lot less, though. And I feel like... Hmm. So this says one snap could cause a lot of damage. This one says it looks extremely painful. I think it does do more damage. Yeah, try it out. Definitely not very long, but maybe range doesn't really matter with Eileen that much. All right, let's head down to the basement, basement. I miss the weird clinky chain noise when Eileen runs. Let's just take a look. Oh, okay, that's new. Worm thing's here. Both ends of the worm thing are here. That end over there is hanging above a medkit on the ground, which looks like it's going to try to eat me if I try to get it. Ugh. Oh. 
Guess I should grab that item while it's gone. I know, I'm scared too. Fall and grab it. Wait. Wait, where is it? Wasn't it right there? Maybe it's over here. Oh, here it is. Wait, was there some weird perspective thing going on? Because I saw it as being over it. But it's not over it right now. Maybe it just moves around, I don't know. Hmm. I should probably go dump some stuff right now, actually. I've got two... I've got double midkits and also too much pistol ammo. Uh, oh god, is it gonna come come out? Like... Oh, fuck. I equip my medallion. I don't know if that's just a curse that just looks creepy or if it's actually going to come out and try to attack me. But I've got my medallion equipped. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, so I can toss the extras of those and then I guess we don't need the chain anymore. Are you just a curse? Bad feeling is getting weaker. It must be this medallion. Hmm. I wonder... I wonder if the medallion can take care of curses too. Maybe if I just stay here for a while. This is not a good place to be. Did that do it? Oh, it did! Get out of here. Take your weird goo with you. Please. Oh, so I've got to clean that up? Ah, oh, thank god. I didn't actually take too much out of the medallion. But I don't want to waste the rest of this medallion on the two or three curses that are in my bedroom. It's fine. Okay, this is where I suspect things are going to be very different compared to last time. This is the strange room with the massive door. Oh, it's locked. No. Shit. Oh, that's a big problem. In that case, I have no idea what to do. Um. Colored liquid. Colored liquid. The only, like, the only thing I have to work on right now is the shirt. I need a colored liquid to make the text appear. You know, in one of the cells, there was black powder. Remember? A black powder, but I mean, a powder's not a liquid. Uh, still might be worth a try, though. Okay, let's test my black powder idea. I... I just used my med kit. Okay. <laughs> uh, that doesn't work. In that case, I don't know. Like, I could rotate the rooms, but what's the point? Originally, that was to illuminate the kitchen so I could see the keypad and all that, but I can totally go anywhere down there. Hmm. Figured I was missing something, so I looked up a walkthrough and just got the very next hint, which is the uh, colored liquid is the one in your bathtub. Just blood. Ugh. You can see white letters rising to the top. My room is on the second floor, and I had to drink something with black things in it. I hid the sword with a triangle handle under my bed. Oh, another sword of obedience! Yes! Uh, that guy, the fat one, took the basement key. Next time I'll stick this triangle sword into that pig and take the key. 
Who's the fat one? Yeah, I, I think so. I forgot Andrew DeSalvo's role in all this. They said something like they used to watch the prisoners. So maybe they were like, a, oh, oh, they were one of the, the observers in the center room then. Okay, yeah. So that must be who they're talking about. Okay, second floor. Second floor under a bed. Those videos are so damn creepy. Okay, Eileen, you need to come with me now. Eileen's somewhere down below. They're catching up. There you are. Eileen, come on. I don't know if Andrew DeSalvo's coming or if that's just warning me that they're in the basement. I'm not sure. Either way, we need to get to the second floor. Okay, so I think it's the room where the person had to drink the black powder. They said they had to drink that black stuff, which I know because I tried this shirt on the stuff, is this room. I'm gonna leave Eileen behind for a second. Under the bed? Yes! Some kind of strange sword. I wonder if you... Can you get this sword if you don't read that message on the shirt first? You probably can't. Take the sword of obedience? Yes. Alright, now I gotta get to Eileen before they get themselves hurt trying to come up here. I really wish I could tell Eileen to stay put. Maybe there's a way and I just don't know how. I don't know. Eileen, stop. Come back. Okay. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to head to the basement and pin Andrew DeSalvo to the ground and take their basement key.